uh, this tune is for Kevin. Well, it's been a long, cold winter. And yes, it's been a cold, dark spring. And we've had so many problems, way more than our share. You feel like giving up. Hey, but here's the thing. You got to blow the horn, bang the drum, move on over. Cause here we come It's shaping up to be one triumphant day A little louder, here we go How far we'll get, well, no one knows But through Jesus, we'll find a better way Well, Thomas had his doubts about the resurrection From the moment that he knew, the light came shining through, and after that, he could understand. He got to blow the horn, bang the drum, move on over, cause here we come, shaping up to be one triumphant day. A little I went down to see my pastor He kept Cause I've been blaming God When things don't go my way Reverend Kevin, tell me true What am I supposed to do? He said, for starters Let's bow our heads and pray And then blow the horn Bang the drum Move on over After all, we're only human, and we don't always do the way we should. But if we put our trust in Him, we'll be improving and have a richer life than we thought we ever could. If you blow the horn, bang the drum. Move on over, cause here we come. You're shaping up to be one triumphant day. A little louder, here we go. How far we'll get, well, no one knows. But through Jesus, we'll find a better way. You got to blow the horn, bang the drum. Move on over, cause here we come. It is my great pleasure to share with you today's scripture on this very sad day. But um, thank you, Kevin, for leading us these past few years 
and helping us to collectively overcome all the challenges that we've faced. Reverend Kevin, it is my honor this morning to be able to offer some words of appreciation and to acknowledge your many contributions to this congregation during the past two years. Today marks the end of a journey that began in July 2019 when you signed your first contract with us. There was a brief interruption or detour in this journey when Reverend Etienne returned to Marshall in June 2020. At that time, we said our goodbyes and thanked you for your dedication and commitment to Marshall. We even hung your picture in the foyer. <laughs> I will never forget our conversation after we had learned that Reverend Etienne would be unable to continue his ministry with us. I vividly remember calling you to see if you would consider returning once again to be our minister. You were driving home after picking up Lauren from work and trying to maneuver around a parked or stalled vehicle, I'm not sure which one it was, while well, I was quickly explaining the reason for my phone call. I was more concerned about the possibility of you getting into a car accident than I was about hearing your response to my urgent question. And as the saying goes, the rest is history. During our many discussions since that memorable phone call, you would often comment that you were just the supply minister. Today, I want to set that record straight. You were much more than the supply minister, and your actions and your words confirmed that to me over and over again. You were the person who provided a steady course guided by your detailed planning and organizational skills. You were a valuable source of information and offered advice and encouragement whenever questions arose about what we should or shouldn't be doing. You shared a wealth of biblical knowledge each week during your Bible study sessions, participated in the weekly prayer group, and you consistently demonstrated your passion and enthusiasm for preaching and interpreting scripture. On several occasions, you have visited or connected with our members who were in need of pastoral care. You quickly adapted to our virtual ministry, assembled and encouraged a group of volunteers to participate in our weekly worship services, and devised a plan to provide a monthly Wednesday evening communion service. I will be forever grateful to you for saying yes to our request to return to ministry at Marshall, not once, but twice, and providing the stability, continuity, dedication, and strong leadership, which is always valued and needed in any organization, but especially during the uncertain and challenging times of a pandemic. pandemic. I want to also add our best wishes for a much deserved rest while you and Lauren ponder your future plans. I know that God will continue to guide and bless you both wherever your next journey takes you. I would now like to ask Leslie Savelli to join me in presenting an expression of our sincere gratitude to you and Lauren for all that you have done with us and for us. And I would like to ask Lauren to come forward as well. Uh, thank you. Sincerely, thank you for your, your support and thank you for your participation. That is your strength. You are a gifted, gifted group of people. And I know that Reverend Keith will find a home here and that God will prosper your ministry, your lives together. So our benediction this morning. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in you what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen.